neighborhood. What do you want from me? Guitar tabs, guitar lesson. So this will be in a standard tuning, E, A, D, G, B, E. And this intro and post chorus, I guess you would call it, uh, kind of just subtle stuff going on here. Um, we could start by just doing like an E power chord. So 7A with the 9 on the D. Okay, take it down a fret to the 6 and 8 for the E flat. All right, and then we kind of do this split bass note with the uh, lead note here. Uh, we go an A flat, it's part of an A flat minor chord, but really we just do the bass note and like part on a note from the chord. So 4E, four 4B. Four right, and then just take that a set of strings down for the C sharp minor. So we got the 4A and a 4 on the high E now. And then take that same thing there, drop it down two frets, and this will be part of a B chord. So 2A, two, two high E. Okay, and you can just kind of play with that throughout the intro and the post-chorus section. The verse, fun riff here, it's like this descaling um, split string thing going on here. So we go uh, basically the D and the B strings mostly. Uh, we go 6D, 4B, back to 6D, then 5B. All right, then we just kind of change the bass note there. Uh, these are all kind of parts of the same chords from the previous section, the E, E flat, A flat minor, C sharp minor to B. Uh, so from there, we just kind of take that 6D, make it a 5, and just bounce between the same thing, the 5D, 4B, 5D, 5B. All right, from there, we just kind of bar, I like to just bar the 4s here. Uh, we just do 4D, 4B, 4D, then a 4 high E. And then we move to this shape now, where it's 3D, 4G, 3D, and then a 2B. Okay, and we would just crank through that uh, descaling um, pattern there. And at the end of the verse, uh, we'll kind of just attack this C sharp minor chord here, this 4A, 6, D, and G, 5B, 4 high E. And there's some like echo on there too, so if you want to throw echo on there and just kind of let it, you know, carry through, that's cool. And we'll just let that ring for a bit. Then we'll bump up to the E flat, so 6, A, 8 on the D, G, B. And then kind of like that, that last beat of the section here, as a little pickup chord into the next section, we just do a B chord and I just kind of move to the bar shape here, the sevens, and then have the nine on the a and D, 8 on the G. It's kind of like that last beat just before we get into the chorus section there. And for the chorus, we just come off of our previous B bar there, and it just leads us into a C sharp minor up here in this voicing. So we're just barring the 9s, have the 11 on the A and D, and you kind of give it a strum all the way down to about the B string. All right, and then we're going to pick between the 9E, 9B, and then make that 9E a 12. All right, and then just let that ring for a moment, then we'll just come off and then just do the basic C sharp minor bar chord there, just so just make that 12 a, a 9 again and just give it a full strum. All right, move into this A flat minor now, so 11A, 13D, and G, and basically strum it down to through that. Then we'll pick this 12B, 13G, come up, do the 11 on the high E, 12B, 13G. All right, keep it moving higher now to the this high voiced B, and kind of playing with the same notes, but we just have this B over the top of it now. So we'll have the 14 on the A, 16 on the D and G, and then just pick that 16G, 16D up to a 16B. And for, I guess, what you'd call like the bridge slash outro here, um, it's kind of doing the, the overall chorus chords, but it adds in this new little curve there where, uh, you know, we're just doing more just like a full like strum of the C sharp minor here in the chorus. And we 
move that one a couple measures. And then we can just move to like an A flat power chord, the four E six on the A and D. And then we throw in this interesting little switch here where it goes to a D and you just do like a D power chord there. So five A seven on the D and G and then drops down to a B power chord. So two A four on the D and G. Thank you. 